Okay, I'm not saying that there's a conspiracy going on right now with John Tory and Doug Ford, but let's look at the facts. A few days ago, the QP briefing editor-in-chief that also runs iPolitics quit their job. This is because their boss, who owns Torstar, tried to shut down a story about Doug Ford and his daughter Stag and Doe, where developers were there and donated money to his daughter. And the integrity commissioner who cleared Doug Ford was also at this party. And these are the donors, who then later bought up Greenbelt land right before he flipped it. There is obviously collusion there. There is obviously some form of insider trading or information being given. 24 hours later, Torstar, the same company that tried not to run that story, released the story about John Tory's scandal. So they tried to water down the Doug Ford story, and when that didn't work, when other news outlets started to pick up on it, they ran another story about John Tory, one that was so salacious that it would take all of our attention. And historically in Canada, it's pretty taboo for the news media to report on the love lives of politicians. They just don't do it like they do in the States. I'm not saying these two things are connected, just that it's a little fishy.